Woo! Well, I'll go on bread bins. It's Tuesday the 2nd of April. And on the 6th of April, this Saturday, we have the Rafa X Team Cycles bike ride. And I thought I'd better recce the, oh, got a fly in my eye. I thought I'd better recce the route. And it's not going well already. Let's go. My name's Ben Chapman. I got into cycling when I was eight. My most favorite thing in the world was jumping on a train and just get off and then go ride in that area. It's just the freedom of having a bike and to go anywhere you want. So good afternoon and welcome back. A few weeks ago, Team Cycles put out a mailer inviting everyone to the Team Cycles X Rafa ride and it's called a day in hell. And from what I've seen so far, wrecking this route, it could be a day in hell. Four consecutive years now, Rafa have run a ride called a day in hell. And you can sign up to any one of these rides, actually all over the world. Stocking Rafa in the Team Cycle store, we've been invited to put one of these rides on. And obviously I jumped at the chance. So this Saturday, the 6th of April, me and 50 plus other budding gravel riders will be taking in some of what Durham has to offer in the way of gravel. And I thought today, I'd better recce the route. And I tell ya, it's gonna be a good one. gravel route on Saturday that we'll be undertaking is a little bit wet to say the least and I'll possibly have to make some changes. This is not the first time Team Cycles have put on a bike ride because last year we had a birthday bash and I put on a road ride for that and Team Valley as it states is in a valley and to get out of it you usually have to go up. So the first part of the birthday ride was up and unfortunately we lost some casualties on that me nearly being one of them. So I dropped the ride to 60k, just over 40 miles, and that's what we're gonna be doing on Saturday. It could be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, but at least it's accessible to everybody. And as you know, this is what this channel is about. If you followed, oh, fly again. If you followed any of my bike riding across Malaysia, then you'll know I'm not the best with route planning. So I did the obvious thing, and I went straight to the route planning master, Graham, who you would have seen in last week's video. So as much as you can log on to Rafa's website and join a day in hell, I don't want this to be a day in hell. I want this to be a little bit hard, but I want this to be a lot of fun. Nothing is paradise, thought I was paralyzed. It's just as I realize a continuous fall. Jumped on a fast train to jump off a fast train to land on my glass race. It all breaks the same. I'm up in the airplanes, looking for airplanes, destined to make a change. So I jump towards the sea. So for those of you who have recently subscribed, this is my Trek Domane. And yes, I know what you're thinking, it's not a gravel bike and we are out today riding gravel. But last year I had a bit of an idea to have one bike that does it all. The wheels that you've seen off my Trek Amonda 
usually are on this, as set up as a road bike. And it is exactly that. The Trek de Marne is advertised as an endurance bike. But as you can see, I've got some 650Bs on. Again, creative carbon and some 47mm tyres. This is probably the bike that I get asked the most amount of questions on. And it is a fantastic idea. You buy a Trek de Marne, you get two sets of wheels, and then you've got yourself a light gravel bike and also a road bike. Now, this bike has been absolutely fantastic until today where it's been a little bit muddier than what I usually ride and mud has been getting in this gap and in this gap here. So this is the battery block for my SRAM Force and this is obviously the downstay. Mud's been getting caught in here and grinding away. I don't know if I've done any damage at this point, but we will soon see. So yeah, maybe it's a little bit too much gravel for this bike. So 650Bs on the Trek de Marne on 47mm tyres, absolutely fantastic, until it gets a little bit muddy. This bike ride has also opened my eyes to one more thing that I have to admit that I'm wrong about, and I think I need mud guards. Cycling across Malaysia, me and Lawrence had a conversation, and I said I do not like mud guards, and he agreed. I think the bum savers, or R savers as you call them, look a little bit ugly. But I'm starting to change my mind. Today is awful. It's been a tough week at work. I'm going to stop. Whoop. I'm going to stop and have some chill out. It's lovely here. just stopped here on the bank of the river just outside of Wylam and the gentleman that you saw there was just jogging along and he stopped and said hey Le Chappers and it is absolutely insane still to think that it's real life living people this is really what it's all about over a hundred thousand people watched last week when I was in Malaysia and that's the most ever in a week but I still find it really hard to comprehend that these are actually human beings that are sitting there taking their time to watch something that I've made. So yes, amazing to meet you dude and good luck with your race. <laughs> it's going to be interesting seeing 50 people come through that on Saturday. That is it, I've completed it. 80k on a Tuesday. I was up at half past five this morning. I've done the recce for Saturday and I've got 80k in the bank. Not bad going at all. Woo! I beat the dark, I beat the puncher, and I'm ready for, I think, a bit of egg fried rice and some noodles. If you're coming along on Saturday, I'll see you then. But for now, I'm gonna leave this video here. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone next time. <laughs>